As the months and years roll on, we edge closer to the infrastructure and regulations being put into place to allow beyond visual line of sight drone flight to become a reality. Ofcom here in the UK have just taken one of those steps forward by announcing plans to have a dedicated spectrum for out of sight drones. Now, remember to let me know your thoughts on this story in the comments below. What kind of beyond visual line of sight drones do you think will be a reality in the next five to 10 years? Will we see the mass Amazon style delivery drones that are starting to rear their heads again over in California? Or are we more likely to see inspection drones and remote location deliveries? Let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Ofcom is a UK regulator who handle all sorts of communications, such as TV, radio and video on demand sectors, fixed line telecoms, mobiles, postal services, plus more importantly to this story, the airwaves over which wireless devices operate. As you will no doubt know, the frequencies we all use for our consumer drones, so things like DJI and Otto drones and the vast majority of commercial drones is the open wi-fi network of 2.4 and 5.4 gigahertz you can fly your drone on these frequencies which are unlicensed and open to lots of other technology this is one of the reasons you'll find your drone signal is actually impacted when you're flying in a wi-fi heavy environment like towns and cities as your drone battles with all the other tech in the surrounding buildings and vehicles all using the same frequencies so how do we ensure the delivery drones or the bv loss inspection drones don't all drop their signals and become a safety issue. In an effort to make the future flight of beyond visual line of sight drones more of a reality and something which can be completed predictably and safely in terms of transmission signals at least, Ofcom are planning to allow specific frequencies to be licensed by drone operators who will then enjoy its exclusive use. This move marries with the ongoing work at the UK CAA and Department for Transport on their future flight projects and steps towards modernising the airspace. There have already been trials with Royal Mail and a pandemic trial for moving essential medical supplies to and from the Isle of Wight. So this does seem to be a serious step towards creating some of the environment required for beyond visual line of sight drones, often being flown autonomously. Ellen Hearn, who is the Ofcom's Spectrum Interim Group Director, stated, commercial drones have the potential to bring a whole host of benefits, such as delivering vital supplies or assisting search and rescue operations in remote locations. We want to ensure that businesses pioneering these projects can access the spectrum they need to harness the full potential of the latest drone technology. This is, of course, just one of the required steps towards BV loss and out of sight drones being a reality in the UK. And you could argue that the greater hurdles of finding effective safety, crash prevention technology and a UTM allowing all these drones to share the airspace is still a ways off. Either way, this is something which will not directly impact your current or future consumer drones, your DJI or Autel drones, etc. I suppose one benefit to us and the hobby is that the existing frequencies will not need to be even more crowded. We have some interesting content coming on Geeks Varna, which focuses on the world of future BV loss and looks at whether or not it will ever be a reality for the average consumer or lower end commercial operator to be able to operate out of sight drone missions safely. So if you're new here, subscribe. And if you're still watching this video, hit the like button on your way out. Oh, and here is a video that YouTube thinks you will like. Were they right?